Hello, welcome to video 6, how to turn your customers into loyal customers for life. This is all about customer service. This is about every little detail you do in business that the public or the customer can see, hear, feel, touch. Anything the customer can relate to what you do is based on customer service. It has nothing to do with just about being nice. I'll give you an example. If you walk into a shop, hi, how are you, my name's blah, blah, and then let them go, and they're walking around your shop, and they hear you on the phone going, oh, you idiot, or anything like that, or being nasty or anything, that is customer service, and you don't even realize it, because they can hear what you're saying. If you come up to people and go, hi, how are you, my name's blah, 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 and then walk past them as a service provider, and your ass is hanging out your pants, that is customer service. That is a way that a, the, the actual owner, the person thing, thinks, say, I don't like that. Anything that can actually upset a customer is classed as customer service. That actually comes down to everything. It comes down to presentation. It comes down to the clothes you wear. It comes down to how you act, how you talk. Everything you do in business, really, if you look at it closely, is called customer service because it's something the customer bases their opinion on you on. And we all have different... Um, morals or we all have different ways we actually show ourselves, our persona and because we are who we are with our friends doesn't mean other people like that so it could be bad habits or anything like that <coughs> excuse me so you've got to understand customer service is everything you do and there's only one thing that matters if you want a really successful business and that is how the customer feels after they have paid you and after they leave or after you've left their home. How they feel at that moment will actually determine whether they stay loyal customers to your business or whether next time they'll actually choose somebody else. So think of that for a minute. It absolutely costs a fortune to get the first time a customer comes to your business, whether it's in money wise or whether it's in your time, doing all the stuff you need to do to show that you're a respectable business and why people should deal with you. So you've actually got them in front of you. They're actually giving you and some money. They're actually employing you. Whether they, buy a, whether they buy a product or a service, they're actually giving you money in return for something that they want. Don't you think the smartest idea would be to want to have that customer loyal for life? I'll explain this in a different way. Say if I owned a coffee shop and someone come in once every once a week for a coffee, and coffee was $5. I use once a week. Usually people go every day, every second day, whatever. But I'll just go once a week, $5. And that customer was happy with the service and they come back time and time and time again. $5 a week over 52 weeks, $250, $260 or so a year just in one coffee a week through that one person. So is that customer worth $5? Or is that customer worth $250 a year? You should think about that. Because every customer is not only worth the, the initial sale they make. If they may bring, they may tell their friends about you. They may have a business and want a heap of your product. They may love you and just keep using and using and recommend you to all their friends and family. So one sale, regardless of how little it is, can lead to so much business you don't know where. But the only way to get that business is by the customer trusting you and the customer liking you. It's such an easy concept. But so many people are in such a hurry to make a sale and go next or just do their own thing after, they, after they're sold. There's no interaction. Another thing everybody should do, especially if you're in the service industry, and I've done it all the time. I've done it through my star business. The, day you should be able to, the first thing you should be able to do is get the person's contact information. Every business should do that. No matter what business you have, you should come up with a way to have a VIP program or something in your business that can actually get the contact details of all your customers. That's the very first step. And I'll, I'll make a video about that too. But you need to follow up with them the very next day. It's so easy. You just say, hi, you're in my shop or whatever. You bought this yesterday. Just seeing how you're going and seeing if every, it was to your expectations and seeing if the service you received was adequate enough for you. 
you word it totally different and I'll show you how to word it when I do the, when I do the next video. But it's totally up to you. The effort and energy you put into every single customer will actually show later in your business. Hope, hope you're having a great day. My name is Ray Roach and I'll see you on the next video.